Welcome to Phone with Julian Engineering. On the surface of the Earth, the temperature changes constantly with seasons. In summer, it is hot. In winter, it is cold. As this diagram shows, this is not the case in just a few meters depth. In two meters depth, the temperature in the Earth is nearly constant through the year, about 11, 12, or 13 degrees centigrade. This may not appear to be a lot, but with a little technical trick, it's possible to use this geothermal heat to heat houses, for example. Today, we want to show how that works. First, you need a few boreholes, as you see in the picture here. In each of these boreholes, two tubings are installed. They are connected at the bottom, so they form a U. Now, we can pump a brine through this U-shaped tubing. The brine picks up the heat from the earth, reaches the house at a temperature of 10 or 11 centigrade. Then it arrives at the heat pump. In the heat pump, there is a heat exchanger where the brine at this temperature of 10 degrees centigrade is brought into contact with another liquid, which has a low boiling point. The heat which is transferred from the brine to this liquid makes the liquid boil very much. For example, propane is an excellent liquid for this purpose. The propane is evaporated in the heat exchanger and comes out in gaseous form. However, the propane still only has a temperature of about 10 degrees. This is not enough for heating. Therefore, the propane vapor is sent into a compressor located in the heat pump. We all know how compressor for bicycle tires work. If we compress the hair, the pump becomes hot. We have demonstrated that here in our experiments. As we pump, we see what happens on the thermometer. It becomes hot. So the compressor and the heat pump raises the temperature of the gaseous propane to about 50, 60 degrees. This hot gas then moves to another heat exchanger where the propane transmits its heat to water. The water is circulated through the radiators of the house which is to be heated. As the propane cools down, it becomes liquid again. The liquid propane still has a high pressure and must be throttled through a valve until it reaches a desired low pressure so the propane can start the next cycle through the system again. The heat pump in principle looks like a large refrigerator, as tall as a man. I have such a unit in my basement. Of course, such a heat pump needs to be supplied with electric energy, since the compressor is an electric machine. However, a heat pump only uses a small amount of electrical energy to generate a much greater amount of heat energy. Therefore, geothermal heating system is a great and environmentally friendly option for home heating. If you want to know more details about this, for example, how to calculate the exact efficiency of a heat pump, come to our lecture on geothermal energy production here in Freiburg. We look forward to see you. Glug off.